we got? Yo! Time to get personal. Two boxes of Allen and Ginter. Just came out today. Let's get it. Oh, snizaps. Uh, Alan, yeah, that would that would be great. You know, I would rather you just email me. That way we keep it between us. You know what I mean? Oh, snap. Alan and Ginter. It is a weird product, but it is nice. All right, let me number the boxes. You know how I do. I number the boxes, and then you pick them. We got 12 boxes. All right. Put it to the side here so you can see them. You might, you might need to get in contact with Tops, Alan. <laughs> All right, so we have them numbered. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, pick your boxes, Ryan, and I got you. Nice roll. Nice, right, so what's going on here? Oh, wow. So I pick one, the dice picks one, and Kels picks the other? All right. <clears throat> wow. The dice picks number eight, just like Kels. I couldn't even, I couldn't even make that up. All right. Six plus four is ten. So this is box eight. And the dice roll decided box ten. Now, Ryan, you do get the final say here. Are you okay with these choices? Might be a rip card in there. We got box ten and box eight. Are you okay with these, Ryan? Or maybe you, you used your x-ray vision and you saw something else? My man says, rip it. <laughs> it shall be done. And as always, good luck, Ryan. Good luck, Ryan. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's do the damn thing. Let me respond to my uncle real quick. I haven't spoken to him this dude in forever. Mm. 
Dude, Adeline Ginter is a funky product, but really nice stuff in it. Let me organize this here a little bit better. So I got some space to work with. Need that elbow space. Hey, we got the uh, box topper here. I need to change the trash too. All right, so in Allen and Ginter, uh, each box can contain either an autograph, a relic, a rib card, a printing plate, or a booklet. So many room for activities in this. Uh, this is box eight. This is the box you chose, uh, Kel, so no pressure. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. Oh. I like how they have the statistics on the back and it's like all like written out that's pretty cool like literally like instead of writing the number six they like write the word out like that's pretty cool I don't know cool the Orioles trade four-time all-star Manny Machado to Dodgers for prospects what how many prospects Manny Machado to the Dodgers. Oh, man. What do you guys think about that move since we're doing a little baseball here? Breaking news. Manny Machado to the Dodgers. Trader for some prospects. That literally just came on my phone. Orioles trade four-time all-star. Manny Machado to Dodgers for prospects. Uh, I wonder exactly how many prospects, though. Let me see here while I open this up. Uh, Baltimore Orioles shortstop Manny Machado has been traded to the Los Angeles Dodgers for a package of prospects, according to multiple reports. Uh, the, tr the trade hit a snag earlier Wednesday with the Orioles having some issues regarding the physical of one of the prospects Los Angeles had agreed to send. According to fan cred, the issue was not related to double A outfielder Yusniel Diaz who is believed to be the centerpiece of the deal. Machado 26 is, damn, Machado's only 26? I thought Machado was older than that. Is off to the best start of his career offensively, tallying several high career uh, high figures for the first half, including home runs, RBIs, OBP, and OPS. In his first year as a full-time shortstop in the majors, Machado was voted as the starter for the AL in this year's All-Star Game. A Platinum Glove Award winner and three-time All-Star at third base, Machado moved back to his original position this season. Machado limited to 82 games in 2014, but has played at least 156 games in each of the last three season. uh, seasons. He has hit at least 30 home runs and 30 doubles in each of those three seasons making him one of just three players and the only one in the AL to reach both of those marks every season since 2015. A first round pick, third overall in 2010, Machado is slated to become a free agent after the 2018 season. Huh. Interesting. Might be a rental. This, this, that's what the breaking news right there on the ESPN app. I need to get a new uh, screen protector. I wrote out the number salt. <laughs> Manny Machado would look good in a in a Yankee uniform. What up, John A? How you doing, my man? All right, finally opened up all this stuff. 
Well, this is one box. Let's see what we got. Good luck. Might see a rip card here. That's cool looking card. My Piazza of the Mets. Jesse Puig, PR, Bagwell, Hap, Walker, Alcantara. Flags of Lost Nations, New Granada. Mini. It's cool looking. We're going to put this in a, in a thick one. There you go. Buster Posey mini for the uh, Giants. The Modern Catchers man, Dude, there's some like funny stuff. I know, I'm, I'm saying, what if there is a rip card? Then, then you gotta deal with the, uh, the. Do I rip it or do I keep it? Sean Doolittle Nationals mini. Listen, I, I've done. This is my third year doing doing Allen and Ginter, and I gotta tell you, I am not ripping the rip card. I am not ripping the rip card. That is all you. Gardner of the Yanks mini. The modern bat. <laughs> Stuff is funky. Uh, a box of this Salt Hill is $106.99. Already have it listed on the site. What is this? It's a mini auto of Matt Olson of the A's. Apparently, there's Method Man autos in this too, man. There you go. A Matt Olson mini auto right there. Hitting a mini in the first box. Very nice. Hank Aaron. Uh, there's a mini here for Javi Baez of the Cubs. In case you're wondering, how many cases do you have of this, bro? I got uh, three cases of this. So we got plenty of Allen and Ginter mojo to go around. There's this Castillo, Luis Castillo of the Reds mini. Trunk Bay. There's some funky stuff in this. Kiermaier Mini for the Rays. The man just got traded. No longer an Oriole. Manny Machado. Bloomstein. Who is this dude? Oh, he's a World Series of Poker guy. James, the heck is this guy? Bill James. An author. And now an advisor for the Red Sox. 2006, time named him one of the world's 100 most influential people. Huh. Good for you, guy. Uh, British Guinea Magenta. The heck is this? Interesting, these minis. Paradise Island. World's greatest beaches. Bill Nye does need an auto, like, ASAP. Yuli Guriel Mini for the Astros. A Jose Altuve mini patch for the Astros. Nice. Oh, so that dude is the Moneyball dude? I, I have not seen that movie. Bill Nye the Science Guy autograph would be so fire. They got a South Beach card with real sand. Hey, there's the Method Man Mini right there. That's kind of cool 
for the Wu Tang fans and the hip hop aficionados. Fredrickson, Sonny Fredrickson, who is a boxer. He got some funky stuff in Alan Ginter, man. Yeah, they got the, the moon, dog. <laughs> they got the moon. <laughs> like, who is this guy? Peterson. Who is this guy? Champ Peterson. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, I love how they start off. Champ, who has Down syndrome. Way to, way to bring things down. Travels the country giving inspirational talks about living with disabilities. The older brother of Jock Peterson. Ah, I didn't know that. Champ Peterson is the older brother of Jock Peterson. Now, I could make a lot of jokes about that, but I'm not going to. Hey, we got Miss Smith here. Miss Smith, Claire Smith. First female Major League beat writer covering the Yankees in the 80s. Huh. Some funky stuff in this. Hey, you got the home run challenge, Anthony Rendon. We got a little uh, scratch off back there. Choose the game you think your home run hero would home run. If he does, you win a prize, and you are going to be entered into for a trip to the 19 uh, home run derby. Hey, who knows? Minis like crazy. Frazier. Mets. Another moon, however, this one a lesser known moon, the moon of Titan, which is the moon of Saturn, Saturn's largest moon, in case you didn't know. Allen and Ginter, man, just teaching people about everything. Hey, my guy Rogowski, look at that guy. With a mini, who is this guy? Who is this guy? Uh, he's a comedian and quiz show host. Okay. I need my own card. I need my own Allen and Ginther card. Last year, one of the Jaspies had a... I think it was last year or like a couple years ago. Uh, one of the Jaspies, Mike Jasperson, had an Allen and Ginther card made for him. That was pretty cool. Uh, Charlie Blackman Rockies mini. The batting shin guards. Mm, crucial baseball equipment. It is it is now a goal of mine to have a cardboard Moses Allen and Ginter card. Steven Strasburg Nationals mini. Yeah, man, Mike Jasperson of Jaspie's Hobbyland had a had a had a card last year with Allen and Ginter. It's pretty nuts. They had like a giveaway going too. They're like, oh, you know, whoever pulls the one of one Mike Jasperson out of Allen and Ginther. Like they had a promo going for that. It was pretty cool. Fernando Rodney Twins mini. A lot of minis in this stuff. World's greatest beach is Raw Ton. Where's that South Beach though? Look at this character. Evans. Who is this guy? Sean Evans. His profession, eating chicken wings while hanging out with celebrities. Hmm. The host of Hot Ones, a YouTube series in which participants answer questions and eat increasingly fiery fowl. Fowl, a fancy word for saying chicken or poultry, whatever. Uh, exactly. Well, thank you, Chris Fitz, for telling the man's life story. Gosh. Can, can a man have some privacy? Uh, Longoria. Mm, Giants mini. Uh, Kells, they do not, but they will be in the future. But they will be in the future. Okay, this is not creepy at all. Folio of Fears, Scotophobia. The fuck is this? Uh, common in children, dread of the dark, or Scotophobia can also torment adults who have never conquered that fear. Sigmund Freud believed that fear of darkness stemmed from children's uh, childhood separation, anxiety from being left alone in a room for the night. Or how about you just being a little bitch? How about that? Cozumel! i actually been to Cozumel, and the, the yes, the beaches are gorgeous. 
Pedro Martinez, Red Sox, maybe. The Jeter Man, Fantasy Gold Mine. Method Man again. Hey, these are the funky cards I like to see. The Indigenous Heroes, Will Rogers. Yeehaw! Who was a Cherokee? One of America's most famous cowboys. I could read these cards like back. Triton! The largest of Neptune's 13 moons. Alan and Ginter, learning you something. That dude Riley, Lincoln Riley, who uh, has rocketed up the coaching ranks, former Texas Tech quarterback, and he has an Alan and Ginter card. Okay, cool. Where's my Allen and Ginter card? This guy looks familiar. H. John Benjamin. Yeah, he's like a voice actor. Yup. Bob and Bob's Burgers. Archer and Archer. I see you, guy. I see you. Uh, who's that dude? Ramirez. Jose Ramirez. Indians, mini. The rip card could be in the next box. Could very well. I mean, I have too much fun with this stuff. Stugatz! Who is with the uh, the Dan Lebetard show here in Miami? He has a, a card too, man. I need I need my card, yo. I need a cardboard Moses card. It'll be the sickest thing ever, bro. I'm gonna have a hard ass pose and everything. Uh, PR Kevin PR Blue Jays mini. Now see, this is not a moon. That looks like a big ass asteroid. Phobos. A crater six miles wide, nearly half the width of Phobos itself, is the dominant feature on the largest, uh, on the larger of Mars' two moons. Like Earth's moons, Phobos is covered in craters, rocks, and dust. Circles Mars three times a day. Huh. It moves about two yards closer to Mars every hundred years. Huh. That looks like a big ass asteroid. That looks like a big ass asteroid. To me. How am I gonna wear my hair for my for the card? I I think I gotta fro it out, right? I think I, I think I'm gonna have two variations, two variations. I'm gonna have the fro variation, and then I'm gonna have the the curly hair very the variation. I might even throw a third variation in there, dreadlock slash, you know, braids or whatever. The bullpen car always popular. J.P. Crawford Phillies, Manny. The fro, right. The fro will be like the short print. You know, the curly hair one will be like the, you know, the the base. A clean Kershaw patch for the Dodgers. And then like me with, with braids or like whatever, that'll be like the super short print. But I'm definitely going to throw it out. Definitely going to throw it out. It'll take up like most of the card. Like let's say this is me. The throw would be like 40% of the card. Uh, what's the RPA? You mean, huh? The rookie patch auto? Well, that's the thing about this. Allen and Ginter. Is, it's, there's really no RPA guaranteed per box, uh, Rick. You're either going to get an autograph, a relic, a rib card, a printing plate, or a booklet in a box. There, it doesn't really say what you're going to get. A baseball donut. What? Oh, that's the thing you put on the... Uh, okay. I didn't know that's what you called it. The baseball donut. Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, that's one box down. Oh, the RPA on my card? Oh, my bad. I was like, whoa, what? Uh, shit. That's a good question. The patch, the patch, the patch. Damn, what's the patch going to be? That's a tough one, man. Uh, maybe, like, maybe I would, like, maybe it would be, like, a DNA thing. You know, like, I'll throw in a lock, you know, like, I'll throw in, like, a curl or something. And then, like, if you're into voodoo, you could, like, I don't know, duplicate me or something. I might even throw in the di I might throw the diamond ring in there. Who knows? Ooh, 
Oh, the RPA could be one of these. I would sacrifice one of my wristbands for the RPA or a Columbia Jersey relic or or uh, one of my my ponytail thingies. It'll be on card auto most definitely one of one the whole shebang. I've sent a few people cardboard Moses one of ones where like uh, you know I like to have fun sometimes I'll get like a dummy card and I'll draw on it and then I'll sign it and I'll send it to random people. Oh yeah, that's true. I could always put a little link of the of the necklace right there. Put a little link on that. Boom, little bling bling. I really want an Allen and Ginter card now. Fuck yeah. And it, it, it can't be just me. It can't be just me. It's got to be me and Jason. It's got to be Cardboard Jesus, Cardboard Moses action. And and I would have to do it. And I would have like, we dress up like as, as our tag team wrestling alter egos. Alan, you never got yours? Well, shit. It's probably on its way to you, dog. Remember how I told you I sent you? You know, you got something coming? What's up, Juventus? Dude, Juventus, how hype are you that you guys signed, uh, or I should say you picked up, Cristiano. You need to do a video tour of Rip City World Headquarters. <laughs> I like how it's called, I like how you called it Rip City World Headquarters. <laughs> For sure, man. It's going to be a blast. Hell yeah, dude. So many great players going through Juventus. My man playing in the Italian League now. Should be a blast for sure, man. I know you're super happy. I mean, I could do a tour. It would have to be like an Instagram Live or a Facebook Live tour, though. Because I can't really, you know, walk around with this webcam. When does the season start, uh, Juventus? You know, Jason's RPA would be pretty straightforward. It, it, it would either be a patch from, like, one of his Buccaneer t-shirts or, like, one of his flannel shirts that he loves to wear. Juventus is going to play in the U.S., but it's probably, like, a friendly or something, right? Against an MLS team, Juventus. Do you know who they're going to play, uh, Juventus? Because if they come to Miami, bro, I'm down to watch a game. You know, the Clasico has come through a few times here to Miami. I haven't been able to catch games because they're just stupid expensive. Oh, man, my boy. The Abraham, one of one. And, like, we would just ship him. The, like, we would just, as much as I would hate it, you know, we, we'd have to ship my boy in his entirety for the true one of one, the Abraham. That's my guy. That's my guy. I'm telling you, if if I if we ever get like a sweet deal with Allen and Ginter, I'm gonna have them make a whole rip you know, Rip City set. You know, there's there's gonna be one for my sorters. There's the Abraham one of one. The you know, the cardboard Jesus. The cardboard Moses and then the the baby penny, super 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 short print. With with uh, with her fingerprint or something on there. The button from the flannel is the one of <laughs> is the one. Of, but yo, my boy always rocking, always rocking the flannel. He's either rocking the flannel, or he's rocking like a Buccaneers T-shirt that he got from like. Old Navy or something. The Brenda Super Short Print in the... Man, I forgot all about Tracy. What would be the rib card? Oh, that's a good one. In front, it would be like me or Jason. And inside the rib... Oof. Maybe Scott put, put the baits in, in there or something. I don't know. Jason would definitely kill me if I get rid of Abraham, for sure. So you know we'll just we'll just sacrifice a toe or something or sacrifice an eye. We'll just 
cut an ear off. Hey, that's Abraham's ear. Or maybe we'll take a battery it out and then we'll give it to you. I don't know. Anyway, let's see what's in the second box. If there's a rip card. Oh, boy. That was That's what I was going to say. Inside the rip card would be the Gelfman. Yes. I just didn't want to say it because, you know, he has his, his posse watching. Rodon, Mini, Rock, you know, White Sox. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much the only I'm the only one that uses Abraham. Jason Jason uses Abraham like on special occasions. The uh, drawing in the batter's box, dirt, baseball superstition. Anybody that's ever played baseball has always done this. It's just it's just a thing. Like it's. Michael Rappaport? Seriously? Dave Baton says mini Yankees. Or we could do that too. You know, inside the rip card is the, the Mario Pokemon relic. <laughs> Iglesias, Rizel Iglesias for the Reds. Holy crap, this is a vintage mint? Really? There's like no protection on that thing. Huh. Cleminger Indians mini. Oh man, yep, and I would have to get I would have to get my boy involved for at you. That uh that spelling bee champ card. That would be the greatest thing ever. Martinez of the Red Sox with a patch. You know, there's there, we got to also come out with the Freak of Nature Rookie Patch Auto. You know, it'll be like a receipt from one of your uh, Tinder dates. A Chapman Mini for the A's. Freak batting people would be the vibe. <laughs> All right, rip card would be awesome. Stevenson Nationals mini. Gotta get my boy uh, the Tomas Hong Kong relic. Christopher McDonald Shooter McGavin. I was like, yo, where do I, where have I seen this dude before? Shooter McGavin. Yo, Happy Gilmore is. Happy Gilmore is like the only golf movie, right? They need to come out with some more, like, like golf movies are like the shit. Uh, Juventus, what's the stadium called in Miami? Uh, we have a couple stadiums in Miami. They could play a soccer match at the Marlin Stadium. Uh, they could also play a soccer match at the Dolphin Stadium, which is called the Hard Rock, uh, Hard Rock Stadium now. Lindsey Vaughn, Manny. Yep, there's the freak get out of filler free card. <laughs> Who is this little cutie? Kelsey Plum. Let me learn all about her. Went to University of Washington. Oh, she played Division One women's basketball. Nice. Ballin'. Okay. Might have to uh might have to holla at her. Caddyshack. I gotta forget about Caddyshack with uh, Ronnie Dangerfield, I think his name was. Michael Franco, Phillies mini. And then there's also that other golfing movie with Will Smith. I think that's the one you're talking about, The Legend of Bagger Vance. Uh, let me see. Sim Simeon, Steve Simeon, worked for the Eagles in the late 90s. Uh, Stand-up career, okay, and, but he, and now he has a card. Okay, awesome. A penny black postage required. Mini. This stuff is so funky. Ooh, let's learn about the Io Moon. It's uh, lava eruptions more than 12 miles high. Holy fuck, can you even like... Are you kidding me? 
12 mile high lava eruptions? That's ridiculous. Third largest moon orbiting Jupiter, slightly larger than the Earth's moon, and this thing is shooting 12 miles of lava? Jeez, man. Nature is scary. Real Madrid is coming down to play in Miami. Who are they playing, though? Not, see, like, now I kind of don't... Like, now I'm not that hyped to watch them because Cristiano's not even playing with them. Oh, they're playing Manchester United? Who's currently playing for Manchester United that, like, I would want to go see? A Texas uh, flag right there? Yeehaw! Uh, Packer Backer, when's the Spectre basketball break? At midnight, my man. At midnight. So roughly four hours from now. So many minis in this stuff, yo. Sandberg Cubs mini. I'm ready to see the, the Women's World Cup, honestly. And cheer on the USA girls. I love the USA girls. Indigenous heroes. Sacagawea. Didn't think I could pronounce that correctly, huh? What it do, Richard? No problem, Packer Backer. Sacagawea. One of the most celebrated and uh, memorialized. Uh, what? One of the most celebrated and memorialized women in U.S. history. The bilingual Sacagawea was integral to Lewis and Clark's successful Western exploration in the early 1800s. That's cool. A little history. Lindor Mini. Alan and Ginter, Richard. This is Alan and Ginter. Quite possibly one of the funkiest products you will ever see. Severino of the Yankees with the uh, patch. We got to get that rib card for my boy. A Brian McCann mini. Astros. The flip up sunglasses? The hell? Man, we have come a long way. Predecessor of the famous flip up shades that some players still wear today. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Biz Marquis? <laughs> Yo, my boy looked tough. That that I might have to take my picture like Biz. In a suit with the fro out. Hell yeah. You you got what I need. But you say we're or I'm just a first something like that. You get what I'm trying to say. Uh what is this guy? Joe Panic? Giants mini. The hell is this? The Komodo Dragon Pepper. 1.4 in the, what is that, the Skull Vial thingy or whatever. The Komodo Dragon, its first taste can be sweet and fruity, but after several seconds, the Komodo Dragon ignites the taste buds. It's, ah, see, I knew it was the Skull Vial or whatever. Its Skull Vial heat unit rating is amongst the highest measured. Which is just the way prolific UK pepper producer Salvatore Genovese intended it. Well, there you go. A little pepper action on that. Was this Harbor Island Beach? That's cute. Where's South Beach, damn it? Trey Mancini with the Home Run Derby Challenge uh, promo card, if you will. Someone is looking to put the pepper set together. I'm not going to lick the card, the hell? Corey Seager Mini. Yo, that would be dope. That would be dope. Remember when they used to have, like, scratch and sniff stuff? What if they start doing that with cards? Like, with the peppers? Like, oh, lick the lick the card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my boy Biz Markey looking like a Don right there. Looking like a straight G in that Mini. Oh, just, just the straight-up moon. The classy moon. 
Earth's only natural satellite, which was formed some 4.6 billion years ago. Huh. Or so they say. Who is this guy? Coin. Phil Coin. The most beloved and well-known Pittsburgh Pirate fan in history. Man, they even got pictures of fans? What am I doing with my life, bro? I need an Ellen and Ginter card, like, ASAP. Uh, and I'll be Sale Garcia mini for the White Sox. All right, rip card. Come out to play. A Ryu mini for the Dodgers. Bro, this set is ridiculous. Like, there's some really funky stuff out of. Like, the more we rip, the the weirder the weirder it'll get. Trust me. Who the fuck is this guy? Lecomte, Ben Lecomte, became the first person to swim across the Atlantic Ocean without a kickboard. It took him, he paddled eight hours a day for 73 days to travel from Massachusetts to his native France. Très bien, my guy. Très bien. We have Fredrickson, Boxer Mini. He got an autograph from an insurance agent. <laughs> Was it a state farm agent or something? Hey, my boy getting autos in both his boxes. Jackson Jr. Mini Auto. Who is that guy? Jaron Jackson Jr. That's who. A basketball player, according to the back of the card. I'll be, uh, I'll be honest with you. I know my basketball. Never heard of that guy. Helen and Ginter is some funkiness. Is it just me or is that hat like way too big for him? Cryptocurrency! Which is like all the rage right now. Digital cash system that does not require the backing of a centralized bank. AKA fake money. Hey, who is this little cutie patootie? Uh, Spiranak. Sounds like a tennis player or something. Who you be, girl? Paige Spinnerack, a professional golfer. Well, I, at least I thought she was an athlete. One of the most buzzworthy golfers in the world. Paige started out in competitive gymnastics before a knee injury and her youth steered her to the links. Huh. Turned pro in 2015. Of course she appeared in Sports Illustrated Swimsuit issue. Huh. I think I'm in love. Anyways, what else we got in this? My boy Mancini, mini for the Orioles. And that's going to do it for the break. Man, funkiness. We ain't done yet, though. There's the box toppers. Let's see what we got in this. Box topper, box loader, whatever. It's for Ronald Acuna Jr. Let me uh, move that up so you can see it better for the Braves. Now, there are autographed box loaders or box toppers. That would have been sweet if that was autographed right there, the Acuna. What's in this one? An Altuve box topper for the Astros. Not numbered, though. Pretty sweet. And that's the break, my man. Funky stuff in this, Ryan. Hope you are happy with your hits. Let me give, uh, go ahead and run it back. So there's a Severino patch for the Yankees. A Martinez patch for the Red Sox. A Kershaw patch for the Dodgers. An Altuve patch for the Astros. I don't see any numbering on there. A Jackson Jr., who my peeps tell me are is the uh, fourth pick in the NBA draft. So that could be that could be nice. That could be big time. And a uh, Matt Olson autograph for the A's. 
Very nice. And that was the break, my man. Two boxes of Allen and Ginter, personal style. Thank you, Ryan. We'll get it out to you, my man.